Dry taps to nearly half the households in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro might be reality in two weeks' time. But emergency measures and interventions are being implemented daily. Now, there is an added half a million litres of drinking water in the mix. Uh, desalination is certainly one of the solutions. It needs to be um, part of a mix of, of, of water solutions. Um, desalination obviously uh, comes at a cost, um, but certainly desalination and assault works are, are, go hand in hand. Um, so for, for us, we've invested in a small desalination plant, um, and if anything, it, it's, um, it allows us to sort of demonstrate that you know, desalination um, is, is something that is achievable and uh, at, a, at a, reasonable, a reasonable cost. Um, so I think desal certainly for our metro is, um, is going to become very important in the future uh, as part of the water mix and the water security, security mix. The gift of the givers welcomes any assistance as the organization is providing its helping hand. We are very grateful to this. As we know, in terms of the most, these are people who don't have the, who, who are underprivileged, who cannot afford to buy a bottle of water. So this will help them tremendously. This water will be dropped off at uh, collection points set up by the municipality. The Nelson Mandela Bay Metro has also stepped up its efforts to repair more than 3,000 leaks across the metro. Over the past week, more than 800 of those have been fixed. The Motherwell and Stanford Road pump station will also be upgraded to be able to transfer 120 and 135 million litres per day respectively from the Notre Dame system to the western half of the metro. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Kabecha in the Eastern Cape.